Are you ready to go five pounds down? Well, today we are beating belly fat and toning our tummies with no equipment needed. Let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving through the world in ways that feel like love. Bye, Blossom. <laughs> You guys, the best way to feel like you are moving through the world with love is by finding your healthy weight with the 5-0 method, where every day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea it could be this simple to lose weight at our age. Every single day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day we drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds, in fluid ounces of water. Every single day we get the right amount of sleep, which means that we go to bed at the same time every night, we get up at the same time every morning, and we don't worry about how much of that in between there was actual sleep. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day we exercise moderately, or maybe even a little bit less than moderately, like today, by doing something that is not necessarily more than we were doing before. And you guys, every single day we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And I have a helpful thought for you today. This one has gotten me through many, many, many a difficult time. And here it is. I can do hard things. Because you know you can, right? I mean, you know you can. You have done hard things in your life. You have done incredibly difficult things. You have done things you did not want to do. You have done things that you did not think you could do. You can do hard things. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. I'm pointing the way Blossom went. Welcome to Blossom's home because she's not on her chair anymore. You guys, today is not going to be a hard thing except that it might be because we are taking things at such a beautifully moderate pace. Today is almost what I would consider an active rest day, even though we've got cardio. And here's the deal, I've got my handy dandy gym boss here, set for intervals of 20 seconds, and we're going back and forth between cardio and balance work. But I'm taking the cardio at a rate that I can do the balance work. <laughs> which means to say that I am not gonna be moving very fast. We're gonna get things started with some kick jacks, which is exactly what it sounds like. Your hands are doing jumping jacks, your lower body is doing kicks, and here's what it looks like. I've got pairs of exercises, we're doing cardio plus balance, and we're going to do each pair twice, so it's a repeating no repeat, because the balance work, as you can imagine, is on one foot. So, if you'd like to take a moment right now and make sure that you are close to something that you can hang on to, we've got a fair good bit of standing on one foot today, and you might like to have something next to you to help you out with that. Let's go ahead and get started with those kick jacks. And here we go. So hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is doing kicks. I'm taking this at a real nice pace. When it beeps, we're gonna do crane kicks. Now, for all the balance work, I'm gonna start on my left foot because that way I can get it over with and that way hopefully I can remember where we are in the workout because I can do hard things. So I'm gonna stand on my left foot, gonna bring up that right knee and just kick forward. This, by the way, is actually a knee strengthening exercise. This is physical therapy. By having your knee up and then straightening your leg, you're really engaging those quadriceps here. You're also pulling in your core. You're standing up nice and straight and tall. You're unclenching your toes. When it beeps again, we're gonna come right back to those kick jacks. And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you guys, I tell you what, I am not trying to move fast today. I am intentionally slowing myself down from what I think of like my cardio pace. And sometimes that feels hard. That is the hard thing that I've been doing lately. Let's go ahead and do those crane kicks on the opposite side, pull in your core, squeeze from that quadriceps when it beeps again. By the way, this was the second time through this pair of exercises, so now we're moving on. We never have to do that again today <laughs> when it beeps again. We're doing shooting stars, really tipping ourselves off balance in one direction and then the other. So shooting stars this way and that way. And we're going to pair this with a star balance hold. So I'm going to intentionally be standing on my left foot no matter which way I'm doing the shooting stars when it beeps and we're just going to hold in this star balance position. My friends, as I mentioned, there's, oh, I was even on my left foot. There's a fair bit of balancing today, and here's the thing. Balancing and holding for 20 seconds might mean that you're down here. It might mean that you can tap your foot down when you need to. There is no problem at all with 
tapping, holding on to something, making this workout work for you is always, here we go back to shooting stars, is always what we do around here. The thing about balance work is it is hard. <laughs> And maybe slowing yourself down at the cardio, maybe that feels hard. You can do hard things. And sometimes the way that we do hard things is by modifying them, by making them work for us. You never have to, here we go with that star balance hold on the other side. When it beeps again, we're doing deadlift jacks, used to be known as forward hinge arm flappers. Right now we're thinking about it as a deadlift. Well, our hands are doing jumping jack. Well, right now we're thinking about balancing. <laughs> But when it beeps again, we're thinking about doing a deadlift, which means that we're moving our hips back and moving our hips forward while our hands are doing the jumping jack motion. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I do have a lot of hands overhead, which means that your heart rate could come up very high. That's why I am intentionally making sure that I'm moving at a little bit gentler pace. When it beeps again, we're going to do a drinky bird hold. Drinky bird, by the way, I don't know if you've ever known this, but a drinky bird actually is a single leg deadlift. So thinking about that same motion, pushing your hips back, 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 raising that leg behind you. We're simply holding here. And what that might mean is that you're holding on to something or that you are standing up a lot further so that your toe is closer to the ground. Whatever works for you, you guys, it always, always works for me. Here we go into those deadlift jacks. Second and final time. When it beeps again, we're going to do that drinky bird hold on the other side. Are you starting? to notice well first of all are you starting to notice yesterday's gluteal muscles yes <laughs> it's part of why I'm not moving very fast today I actually I knew that today was coming I already had today planned here we go with the drinky bird hold on the other side I already had today programmed and planned before we did yesterday's workout so I knew that we were going to have the ability to go a little bit gentler today when it beeps again we're doing bug slappers I'm gonna start with your hands out to the side like the letter T as you step out one way you're reaching your opposite hand down towards your opposite foot so we step out and slap <laughs> Step out. you don't actually have to slap by the way I'm touching like a little bit below my knee you are welcome to get down as low as feels good to you maybe that's just your inner thigh maybe it's all the way down at your ankle whatever works for you my friends when it beeps again we're gonna do I'm gonna stand on my left foot we're doing front kick back kick which is exactly what it sounds like a front kick and a back kick I'm gonna keep this a little bit small I'm not trying to go too big or too balancey I happen to know how many balance exercises we have today I'm pacing myself on the balance also I know that on a day like today where we are moving here we go with those bug slappers again on a day like today where we are moving gently we're working on you know our abs and our balance that it doesn't really matter how fast or slow I go I can still make the workout work for me my friends when it beeps again we're doing that front kick back kick on the other side and you know I wanted to mention really specifically okay, I'm gonna stand on my right foot we're gonna front kick we're gonna back kick and when it beeps again we're doing twisting high knees I wanted to mention why I told why I titled rather this workout beat belly fat and tone your tummy and then here we are doing this not really cardio kind of cardio we're taking it a very gentle pace here we go with the twisting high knees that's on purpose my friends did you know that the very best way to beat belly fat is not to get down on the ground to be doing all kinds of crunches it's not to do cardio 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 at our age the best way to beat belly fat is to slow things down and take it gently we're gonna do a side raise hold standing up nice and straight and tall Oops, I'm very naturally tried to stand on my right foot did you see that I know you did <laughs> A side raise hold just has your leg out to the side you're sitting up straight and tall unlock your knee unclench your toes bring that work all the way up into your abs this is how we tone our tummies here we go with those twisting high knees again toning your tummy at our age does not have to involve getting down on the ground I get asked all the time what do you do for your ab muscles Paula this is what I do I do workouts where I pull in my core I do workouts where I'm thinking about using my abdominal abdominal muscles while I am standing up here's that side raise hold on the other side when it beeps again we're doing rainbow frogs hands are gonna go up overhead like a rainbow one knee is bringing up out to the side like a frog <sighs> really thinking about unlocking your knee unclenching your toes asking your abdominal muscles to do the work is how they work you guys you can tone your tummy and beat belly fat with this workout.
Working out gently every single day over time, of course, when you are in a slight caloric deficit, is the best thing that you can do for your menopausal body. We're doing super slow sprinters where we crunch and then we extend. So bringing your elbow to your knee in a crunch and then extending that same arm, same leg. I'm really happy that I actually went to my left foot very naturally. I didn't even think about that and I started on my left foot first. I'm so proud. When it beeps again, we're doing those rainbow frogs <laughs> for the second and final time. The harder you work here in menopause, the harder it is to lose weight, the more weight you are likely to gain in your belly. That's why they call it menopausal belly fat is because we're still over here trying to do the same thing that we've been doing since we were in our 20s and your body's like, no, thank you. I'm in my 50s now. Here we go with those super slow sprinters on the other side and when it beeps again we're doing punch down tap outs it's exactly what it sounds like <laughs> we're punching down and tapping out so we're punching down kind of across our body I've got a lot of like lateral motion today a lot of squeezing a lot of crunching a lot of across your body it's another way to where we can really work on those abs here we go punch down tap out work on those abs without even really feeling like it's work my friends I mean is that the best news of all you can work and not feel like it's work and then it works for you <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing hip openers, which means that we are bringing up one high knee and then we're gonna open that knee to not wherever it can go. So go ahead and bring up one high knee, wherever your gluteal muscles can make it go. Okay, I'm gonna actually like stare off into space and really think about opening my knee without opening my hip. Squeeze, 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 squeeze from your middle butt and outer butt in order to make this motion happen. And here we go with those punch down tap outs again. You guys, it is hard to rethink everything you've ever known, ever, about exercise your whole life. I remember being in my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, even up until I was 50 when it beeps again. Of course, we're doing the hip opener on the other side. I really, really thought that I should keep working hard. Here we go. Because we're told that our entire lives. Hip opener means that you're really squeeze, squeeze, squeezing from that outer butt muscle when it beeps again. We're gonna do star bursts where we get little and we get big. When we get big, we're gonna bring our hands up and over our head, our one foot out to the side while balancing on the other. I'm trying so hard not to just open my hip, which is all I want to do. <laughs> because I know I could get that knee so much further over, but now we are done with that one. Here we are into the starburst when it beeps again. We're doing super slow, fast ups. I used to, I used to use a, um, a step up box. I can't think of what it's called now. But it's a box that you could jump up on. And I used to step up on these and bring my hands to my knee and my knee to my hands. And this was a little bit more of like, almost like a single leg squat. And I used to call them fast ups where you would like step up and bring your hands up and your, um, and your knee up. And then I stopped using the box because, because it's just easier not to. <laughs> But I still call these fast ups. Here we go into Starburst again. But then when I realized how really good it is to do them slow, I called them super slow fast ups. <laughs> the evolution of my exercise over the years, it has changed really significantly. You guys, we just, no, we can do all the things that we used to do. Here we go with those super slow. Oh my gosh, did I do the wrong foot last time? No, this feels weird. Okay, I'm gonna do the right foot because maybe I did it on my right foot, maybe I did it on my left foot. I don't actually know. When it beeps again, <laughs> we are doing cross back jacks with basically a curtsy lunge, but you do not have to go all the way down into a curtsy. Speaking of things that I used to do in a bigger motion that I do a little bit kinder, a little bit gentler now. My body has given me so much information about what feels good now that used to feel too easy, that used to feel like not enough. And it's still mentally, I get that chatter a little bit when it beeps again, we're doing swinging knees to elbows, but my body tells me, oh my gosh, this is just right. Swinging knees to elbows means you have your elbows forward. We're bringing our knee across our body and then down. So it's across your body to the opposite elbow and then to the same elbow and then down. And it's okay to crunch down a little bit into this one and I am tapping my foot down in between when it beeps again, coming back to those cross back jacks. Speaking of things that I used to be able to do easier, my whiteboard is, it's tiny writing. I, I really should have used two whiteboards for this. When we do uh, repeating no repeats, it takes up the entire whiteboard. So when it beeps again, we're doing swinging knees to elbows and I'm gonna really pay attention to what we're doing. Okay, so swinging knees, 
<laughs> to elbows. Bringing that knee up as high as you can to the opposite elbow, the same elbow, and back down. Winnie Beavis again. We're doing dancing X's. Your feet are wide, your hands are wide. You're making the big letter X, and then you're gonna bring your opposite elbow <laughs> towards your opposite knee in the middle. Nice and big, nice and wide. Really thinking about moving at a pace that feels just right for you, that feels just right for balance work. You are capable of doing all the hard things that you have ever done before. Your body doesn't want to do quite that much anymore. Your body needs a little bit more time to recover. We're doing oblique crunch holds. So standing on your left foot means that you are bringing your right knee to your left elbow and that little bit of crunching down into it is really tough for me to hold. This is quite a challenge. I'm really thinking about unclutching your toes, unclenching your knee, bringing this work all the way up into your glutes and your abs. And then here we go into those dancing X's again. Asking your abdominal muscles to do this work is how we tone our tummy. Asking your brain to stop the chatter about I'm not doing enough, I should work harder, is how we beat belly fat. My friends, here we go with that oblique crunch hold on the other side. I'm gonna beep again, we're doing big arm side shuffles. Ooh, good golly. Really thinking, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm on the left side again. Oh, Paula, Paula, you silly goose. I'm getting lots of really good balance work on my left side today. <laughs> Here we go with those big arm side shuffles. And you know what? I can do hard things. You know what hard thing this is? This is me putting my mistakes on the internet and knowing that sometimes that means that I, I led you to doing a mistake too and I apologize for that. When it beeps again, we're doing super slow toy soldiers. Opposite hand reaching towards your opposite kicking foot, having that leg as straight as possible. For me, it's not super duper straight, but having one hand up overhead, the other leg, I'm on my right foot. <laughs> Here I am talking about making a mistake and making another one. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing those big arm side shuffles again. I tell you what, this, <sighs> this is me doing hard things. <laughs> this is me knowing that it is showing you that you can make mistakes and still get all the results that you want. I want you to know that you never, ever, ever have to be perfect. Here we go. Standing on my left foot intentionally. When it beeps again, we're doing day breaks. Hands swaying up overhead. Feet just tapping from side to side. Really thinking about squeezing from your thigh muscles to keep that leg up. Squeezing from your ab muscles to keep you standing on one foot. Doing such a good job. Here we go with day breaks. I'm gonna slow this one down because having that hand over my head, I notice that my heart rate has come up. And this is just right at this moderate pace to take this at a nice, gentle pace. When it beeps again, we're doing cross body crunches which means that we're bringing our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee. We already did this as a hold, whoopsies. Um, oh, you know what we were supposed to do earlier? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna stand on my left foot and we're gonna do the oblique crunch hold, which is what I thought we were doing earlier. You guys, I have all kinds of mistakes in this one. When it beeps again, we're doing those day breaks. And I want you to know that no matter, no matter me messing everything up here today, as I am clearly doing, you are getting the exact right amount of work. You are making this workout work for your body by doing any work. It's okay if we accidentally do the wrong thing. As long as you are working yourself, and asking your body to do this work. Here we go with that oblique crunch hold. When it beeps again, okay, I'm gonna really pay attention. We're doing reach across crunch. That's our cardio move. We're gonna reach across our body and then we're gonna crunch it on down on the other side. I knew that I had a lot of these holds that were very similar when I was making this. Here we go with a reach across crunch and a reach across crunch. I did not anticipate how difficult it was going to be for me to keep it straight while we were talking and chatting and doing things. But you know what? I can do hard things. Sometimes I make mistakes while I'm doing it, but I can do hard things. When it means again, okay, we're doing three point crunches. That's the one where we stand on our left foot, we have our elbows pointed forward, and then we crunch down towards that right knee that's coming up. And then as you stand up, go ahead and open it all the way up and tap your foot down. In fact, I'm literally putting my foot all the way down. When it beeps again, we're doing the reach across crunch. 
And here we go. We're going to reach across and crunch and reach across and crunch. When it beeps again, we're going to do that three point crunch on the other side, standing on my right foot. I'm going to say it out loud so that my body can get with the program. <laughs> I think, I honestly think that that's been the problem. I've been talking and thinking about other things, which is what I do, but I haven't been actually saying, here we go into that three point crunch. I haven't been actually saying what I was doing, what foot I was standing on and my brain. This is, this is why we were talking about this yesterday with my superpower about how talking is my superpower. My brain needs to hear what my mouth says. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. So hands are gonna be up overhead. Gonna bring our elbows down while we bring one knee out to the side. This again, abs and obliques. Have your core pulled in nice and tight. Move at a pace that feels just right for you. And when it beeps again, we're doing single leg touchdowns, which is not a football move. <laughs> definitely not a soccer move. It is where we are touching our hand down to the ground, if at all possible. For me personally, I'm going to get down as low as I can. And we're thinking about standing on that one leg and then crouching down as though it is a single leg squat, because it is. I'm standing on that left leg the whole time. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. Totally okay if you're hanging on to something or tapping that other foot down. Here we go with swimming frogs for the second and final time. You guys, okay, it was a little rough there in the middle, but we are almost done with this workout. When it beeps again, we're doing those single leg touchdowns on the other side. I'm going to stand on my right foot, which means that I'm reaching down with my left hand down towards the ground. A little bit easier on this side. I'm still, even after all these years, a little bit stronger on my right side than my left. And you guys, when it beeps again, we are done, but we are not quite finished. We are doing the ultimate, and Paula doesn't know what she's calling things. <laughs> We are doing pretzel jacks, which means that your hands are doing jumping jacks while your lower body is doing what is essentially a tree hold. Um, but I call them pretzels when we do it this time. Oh, but you know what kind of a hold we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to do a pretzel hold or a tree hold. <laughs> <laughs> I intentionally called these pretzel jacks and tree hold because, because that's what we do around here. We do hard things. We do hard things like decide that something has a new name and then we have to remember it. <sighs> really pulling in that core. Unclench your knee, unclench your toes. Bring this work all the way up into your abs. Toning your tummy, tightening your belly. Knowing, here we go with those tree jacks. Pretzel jacks, wait, which one? <laughs> Knowing that no matter what you're doing, first of all, you can do hard things. Second of all, you can do anything in any order, in any way, and it's all going to work out just fine when it beeps again. We're doing that tree hold for the second and final time. I'm gonna be standing on my right foot. Ah, the next time it beeps is the last time it's going to. In fact, it's the last time that it's going to in this five-day series. You guys, this was number 50. It's almost like we are making our way through the year. We've got, we've got more coming, but not for another four weeks. That was it. What a great, great job you did. Every four weeks, let's go ahead and cool this down. Every four weeks, I release another series of five videos and we are making our way through the year. What a great job you've done this week. We had some good highlights, right? We had some interesting lower lights today <laughs> with doing hard things. But all in all, when we keep at it, when we are consistent every single day, doing our five things and just really, really, really loving ourselves through it, this is how we get to our goal. My friends, thank you so much for working out with me today. You did a great job. Let's go ahead and open this up and close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Not too sweaty, a little bit, but not too sweaty, just just right today. You are welcome to repeat these five videos for the next four weeks. If you'd like to, you can mix and match. At this point, I have, I did the math. I don't remember what it was though. I have well over a hundred weight loss videos that are just right, that are just moderate, that are just for you at age 50 and beyond, really doing the hard thing of exercising just right for weight loss. Make sure you subscribe before you go. And no matter what video you do tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow.